So, same thing, ammonia plus, they're not always plus one and minus one, but the ones I happen to be picking on. Okay, so you write them separately, just so you can take a really good look at them. Right, just the ions. Now let's just take one at a time. Let's do the one on the right first. This, its conjugate, is HCN. Conjugate HCN, we put an H on it. What's this? Yeah, it's a weak acid. It's definitely not strong. I'll just put A for weak acid. So the conjugate is just a base. Not strong, just a base. Okay, NH4+, plus. we just did this one. It is? Yeah, we don't even have to rewrite that one. If you see ammonia, if it's NH4+, plus, it's an acid. If it's NH3, it's a base. So, acid plus a base. Shoot. <laughs> Here's case four. Now we gotta get our, our thinking hats on. So I'll just erase this part. You have to look up the KAs and KBs. I happen to have it for this example for ammonia, for this one right here. For this, am I looking up a KA or a KB? KA. KA, because it's an acid. Okay. So, KA for this one is 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. That's the Ka for this one right there. Okay. Let's go over here. Cn minus, would I look up a Ka or a Kb? Kb, it's a base not listed. Now what do I do? They don't have the KBs for anions. Listed definitely not in your text. Yeah, I have to look up the KA or HCN. Because HCN is listed, but CN minus won't be listed unless you have some extensive table somewhere. So this is listed as 6.2 times 10 the minus 10. The problem is this is the conjugate. These are conjugates. I need to, it's easier to compare likes with likes. So I need, do, do y'all remember learning how to find KB if you have KA? Yeah. KW is KA times KB if K and KB are conjugates. So KB, which is what I wanted, is KW over Ka, or Kb. Kw is a constant at room temperature, 10 point, 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. Ka is given, I just looked it up, 6.2 times 10 to the minus 10. So Kb is going to end up equaling, so you'd have to get your calculator out, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 5. You get that right? Okay, so I'll write that up here. Kb is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 5. Now, you look at these two numbers, this one versus this one. Which one's bigger? Yeah, so here I see that Kb is greater than Ka. Remember, if as Kb gets larger, what happens to the base strength? Does it go up or down? Yeah. The larger Kb, the larger the base strength. The same with Ka. The larger Ka, the, uh, the stronger the acid strength. Is that okay? Well, if Kb is bigger, what do you think it is? It's a base. So the whole molecule is a base then? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because we're comparing the two ions, the whole molecule is a base, because this ion is a stronger base than this one is an acid. Okay? So you do have to get your calculator out. There's different ways to kind of think about it, but what I do, once you find the K and the KB of the uh, anions or cations individually, you just compare them numerically. 
the bigger number tells you which one it is. So it's a bigger KB, so it's a base. Okay. Yeah. So conceptually, what they represent is the, um, and that was case four. By the way. Uh, their tendency to disassociate, right? And so, like, yes. Well, like, if both of them are attached onto the same um, molecule, and like, uh, they dissociate at like uh, KB. Uh huh. Wouldn't like their KAs and KBs kind of be the same? Because you know, oh. when the dissociation of cyanide, it's actually a dissociation of ammonium as well. Because the cyanide is leaving the uh, ammonium. And not exactly. Vice versa. And you remember this is aqueous, so that most of what's around is water. So they're really interacting with water. This plus water goes to HCN plus OH minus. That will have a KB. And then the other one, NH4 plus plus water, that's going to, oh, H2O, that's going to give protons. So that'll be NH3, a base, plus H3O plus. And that's a Ka. Well, this reaction happens more, because it's a bigger one. And since the basic reaction happens more, it's going to be basic. Is that okay? So they don't really interact with each other. I mean, think this is like a very, very small amount in an aqueous solution. So even if it's like a couple molar, 